hi good morning everybody <laughs> so i am trying to get out of bed um it is currently 43 degrees the house is so cold and i've pulled out my comforter and i'm just like snuggling in it and it's so nice <sighs> i didn't even think about it but so like in recent years like you know when once i got into my late teens early 20s I actually started really liking fall I used to hate fall because I was like everything's dead and depressing and sad but um yeah then I started really liking fall because like you know I grew up <laughs> and now that we've moved to San Diego I've realized that winter is all fall here like I will have a fall from I don't know like now I guess until February maybe? I don't know when it starts warming up here but like the whole time it's super cold and in winter in Ohio it will just be fall here I'm very excited <laughs> okay I actually have to get up and take a shower because I have to work today and I look gross oh my gosh um yeah I just wanted to share how freaking cold it is right now and I love it. Well, hello everybody. So, um, it is after work and I went into a, you can't see it, a Kohl's for the first time since like high school maybe. My mom got me some gift cards for Christmas last Christmas <laughs> and I never got around to using them and I desperately need basic pants. So I bought two pairs of black pants because they go with everything and I found a shirt and dang did I forget that Kohl's has some deals um so like the shirt or the like clothes that I got rang up like a few dollars cheaper than they were ringing up like in the price checker and stuff so I, was, I came in under budget way under budget and I was like <laughs> I still have like $23 left to spend on myself so maybe they will have something come Christmas time I don't know who knows so yep that's my day also um this week at work we are doing Alice drills but they don't call them Alice drills uh we are doing secure campus drills uh it, it's not like an active shooter drill where we have to like barricade and stuff like that it's just if there were like police activity around the school we would do this secure campus um and we actually did one remember at the beginning of my teaching here on campus yep so we're doing drills for that um, and because we only see the kids like one group at a time throughout the week, we have to do them every day this week, which I mean, it's not that big of a deal. We just shut our door and like have them watch a video and then um, ask them some questions. It really, really makes me sick that we have to do these kinds of drills. Like fire drills, sure. Tornado drills, yeah. Earthquake drills, do they do earthquake drills here? I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, active shooter drills it makes me not feel good that we have to do these. So that is uh, what is happening this week. God is in Phoenix this week, so I'm flying solo. And yeah, it's nice because I get the bed all to myself, but I also miss him. Um, also, we're going to be watching some scary movies this week leading up to Halloween. We're going to get some ramen. Um, yeah, other than that, that's all I got for you right now. So, I hope you're having a good day wherever you are. Good day, night, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you're having a good one. Hi, everyone. I'm reluctantly filming right now because all I want to do is be taking a nap. <laughs> I um, had one of the scariest things happen last night. So, I, well, this morning. So, I got up around like 5 to feed Frankie. I fed him and like was coming back into the bedroom and I was carrying him on my shoulder because he wanted to be carried. So he was like looking behind me and when I turned my back, like facing this way, the window to shut the door, he like started growling and like making noises.
sorry I just noticed something really weird and I'm gonna tell you in a second um but he started growling and like making noises and it freaked me out and um like I dropped him and he like was frozen so I dropped him and like ran out of the room and um like was kind of peeking around the corner into the bedroom and he was just frozen and he kept looking between me and the window and me and the window and me and the window and that went on for like a minute or two it felt like forever though um and so finally he like came out and like his tail was all puffed up and like he was really skittish and stuff and so like I quickly ran into my bedroom I shut the, the window and locked it and put the shade down, grabbed my phone, a pillow and a blanket, and I went out and sat on the couch. And, like, <laughs> my um, roommate finally woke up around, like, I think he came out around 6 o'clock and he, like, went outside to, like, check stuff and he said it didn't look, look like anything was there. But, like, as I'm telling you this, oh my gosh, this is so weird. Hang on. <laughs> okay, you can kind of see it. So if you look at the window right here, you see those four lines so if you look at it it's like the size of a kid's hand and you can't really there we go okay so you get kind of like a palm shape and like a little bit of a thumb oh my god that's so weird oh that is so weird um yeah just noticed that as i was filming it makes me uncomfortable um yeah so i don't know we never figured out what it was and Scott is gone still tonight. He'll come back tomorrow, but I have to sleep one more night in this room by myself. And it's Halloween on Saturday, and I'm like not having any of this. So that was my morning this morning, how I started my day. Um, yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna take a nap or something now. I'm freaking out about this handprint on my window. Okay, I'll uh, let you know if anything occurs or there are any breaks in the case okay happy halloween i am going as um snow white it works for me it's kind of my go-to i usually have red and blue anyway today what we're doing is taking in my ballot so somehow i signed up to get a ballot through email and like you vote online and then print it out and take it in I don't understand it, but somehow that happened. So this is what is happening. So I'm following every single direction as closely as I can to make sure that this stays right. And um, I'm about to go turn it in. I'm packing a book bag. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at this baby. I'm packing that book bag full of stuff because I don't know how long I'm gonna have to wait. So just in case, it could be five minutes, it could be five hours, who knows? I don't know. So that's what's on the agenda for today. I'm also dropping Scott's ballot off and shipping out the switch controllers that we have because our switch controllers drift like crazy. Like the little joysticks drip, they don't, whatever. We're sending them in to get cleaned because apparently it's, a, it's an epidemic with these things. So you can just send in your switch controllers to get cleaned for free. I'm gonna go hurry up and get out of here so I can do that and get back and be done with it. Wish me luck. I did it guys. I voted. It was so easy. Uh, thank you San Diego for having a super easy voting ballot drop off thing. The place that I went had uh, like you could park to go in and vote if you were doing like in-person voting and they had a drive through for mail drop off. I was so stoked about that. Like I packed this whole book bag in preparation to wait in line and didn't even have to get out of my car. So that's, I love it. I love that. <laughs> so I dropped my ballot off and Scott's ballot off. And now I am um, at a CVS about to drop off my package for the, uh, the switch controllers. And then I think that's it for the day and I'm gonna go home and we're gonna get ready for trick or treaters cause we don't know if trick or treating is happening. We don't know if it's today, but we assume if, if it was gonna be any day, it'd be today. So we have a, like, it's not a mobile fire pit, but it's like a, it's not a stationary fire pit. It's a movable fire pit. Uh, we're gonna put that in our driveway, like right outside of our 
garage and sit in our garage with a bowl of candy out for people if they want to come pick up some candy and it's gonna be a good time yeah also it's 88 degrees on halloween usually we would be bundling up like you wouldn't be able to see our costumes going trick-or-treating when i was a kid because we would have so many layers over our costume coats and stuff so this is very weird for me and i love it so yes okay that's all i have for you happy halloween everyone we got a bonfire in our driveway. We got some trick or treat candy out here. Yeah. We got lights in our windows. We got the setup, guys. <laughs>